batting second. Batting eight. today, both active duty and veterans, to please stand. I guess if you want to look at it like that. <laughs> what was it like uh, the first at bat? You get the home run, uh, what the third pitch, your first swing. Did you see it, hit it, felt uh, good. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, just trying to. He's a really good pitcher, so you definitely don't want to let hittable pitches go by without yeah. putting a swing on them. Um, <clears throat> so just being ready to go um, at a moment's notice, right there. Just you know, like I said, you don't really want to fall in a hole, but with him pitching. And then you come up with the bases loaded. And you figure he's not going to let you do it again. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I, it felt really good today. Um, you know, baseball's a humbling sport, though. So yeah. you know, got to move on till tomorrow. Hopefully, we can do it when the stats actually matter in the season. Right. <laughs> how how much do you take out of, out of this early success in spring? I mean, obviously, you know, you, you know just as well as any player that. Spring doesn't, you, like you said, doesn't matter, and sometimes you can be going really well in spring, and then it doesn't not so hot at the beginning of the season. 
you know, I think spring's one of those really cool things of, you know, if you have a bad day, you can chalk it up and just be like, hey, you know, working on stuff, it doesn't really matter. Or if you have a really good day, just say, hey, I'm seeing it good. I'm in a good place, you know, try and, you know, keep carrying that on forward. But, you know, you can't really put too much um, thought into like, oh, I had a great, like, it doesn't, the stats don't matter right now. Yeah. It's a nice catch to the wall. Man. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. You got a couple of those last October, too. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, things have gone so well for you. And um, obviously, with what you did in, October, in September and October, does that confidence carry on uh, into the next spring? Um, you know, I try and be a confident person, and I think it's really cool, you know, the teammates that I do have in the locker room have really helped me build on the confidence that I already had um, and just kind of helped me be the player that I want to be. Um, and, you know, Boach is, you know, putting us in positions to be the best that we can be every day. So it's, it's really easy to be confident when you have a, people around you like that. Is it fun that you get to be the veteran for Wyatt? The veteran? I mean, if you want to call... <laughs> well, you're younger than him, aren't you? I was about to say, I'm younger than he is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm younger than... Well, I mean... Major League veteran. I guess, yeah, I got a month on him, I guess, huh? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know... I think it's cool that we have a lot of people in the locker room that you can look to. I mean, it's not just one guy. You know, there's a handful of guys that you can look up to and, you know, ask questions and pick their brains really good. And with, um, obviously, Rangers fans are kind of getting to see kind of the wave of the future with you and Wyatt really early in spring training. Um, is that some, is this is this time you guys can kind of push each other when with success, or is that just something that comes in the regular season? Um, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say we're like pushing or competing or or whatnot. You know, it's just one of those things that, you know, I'm trying to be the best that I can be, and you know, he is too. Everybody is, you know. So, um, just to have a whole locker room of people that are all trying to be the best that they can be, um, we're going to make each other better no matter how it happens.